Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be discussing about natural resources. How can we write the science project report for natural resources? So first, we should understand what are natural resources. This is the first thing we should write in your any science project report. The natural resources are nothing but these are the resources that exist naturally on Earth without action of any human beings. The natural resources exist naturally in the environment. Natural resources are useful to human beings under many circumstances. Then we will try to understand what are the types of natural resources. There are two types of natural resources. One is renewable resources. Another one is non-renewable resources. First, we'll try to understand what is renewable resources. Renewable resources are the resources that occurs in an endless quantity naturally and that can be brought back again and again. The renewable resources are used by humans continuously that are present in a large amount in the earth. The resources that are replenished quickly are called as a renewable resources. For example, air is a renewable resources, water and solar energy, these are renewable resources. Then we'll talk about what is non-renewable resources. The non-renewable resources are resources that occurs naturally in the environment in the needed quantity and it takes time to form again in the environment after utilizing it. The non-renewable resources are resources used by humans and some amount of time is taken by the environment to exist again naturally. For example, fossil fuels and radioactivity element. These are the some of the resources which are non-renewable resources. Then we'll try to understand what are the characteristics of a natural resources. The natural resources are of uh, having a three main characteristics. One is natural resources are present in the earth in a very limited quantity. And natural resources are very useful to human beings. Natural resources are interrelated and interdependent. What are the uses of natural resources? The most of the natural resources are useful to human beings. Some of the useful natural resources are water, plants, forest, coal, and petroleum. These are the some of the natural resources which are very useful to human beings in one or the other form. Then what are the impact of natural resources? The natural resources can get depleted or degraded due to various reasons. One may be because of climate change, which causes by burning of fuels like coal and petroleum. Another impact on the natural resources are destroying of forests by human beings to build modern cities, new cities across the world. And one more impact is because of uh, increase in the pollution, increase in the pollution that damaging the plants and natural resources as well. So these are the some of the impact on the natural resources. We will talk about what is all about a natural resource degradation? The natural resource degradation is nothing but it is a destroying of environment through a causes of uh, damaging the natural resource like air, water, soil and destruction of forest that may lead degradation in our environment. One is land degradation. Land degradation can happen via soil illusion is one of the natural resource degradation. Even uh, because of soil uh, erosion, ore cultivation, deforestation, and poor irrigation might happen. And even uh, land is getting polluted because of that also land you will get degraded. And water is also getting degraded because of over exploitation of 
utilization of water and as well as we are polluting the water as well and air degradation even the air is also getting polluted because of over population and over uh, industrialization then how will you conserve these natural resources in an effective way so there are four ways you can conserve the natural resources one is via forest con conservation one is via forest conservation the forest conservation is nothing but avoiding the deforestation reduce the deforestation increase the afforestation then the second one is soil conservation so we wanted to use as much as minimum pesticides we wanted to use as much as low utilization of fertilizers and low utilization of pesticides and wildlife conservation we are saving the forest and we are trying to save the animals as well and we wanted to conserve water as well by utilizing as much as minimum possible by saving water drop by drop so this is all about a natural resources this is how we should write the more detailed information about natural resources for your science project